Hello. So, I promised to put up a power report. There is some footage. I've got to be honest, I didn't do a great job. <laughs> it's the first time doing it, so, you know, never mind. I'll, I'll get it right next time. Um, while I was running through it, I made a few mistakes as well. Even though I wrote the rules, I forgot a couple of things. Yeah, such is life. Um, so, take a look, see what you think. Uh, I'll do the next one better. Uh, and at the end, I'll pop on again and uh, do another little video explaining some of the rules that I think need changing. Uh, well, it's been uh, probably about three years since I played uh, using these rules. So I, I just kind of wrote everything down from memory. Uh, and that I, it looks like I might have got a couple of things wrong um, that might need changing. So anyway, take a look uh, and I'll see you in a minute. Good day all. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick run through of the forces. So we've got two units of French cavalry. They're both going to be independent. We've got an inexperienced brigade here, in the commander. We've got a regular brigade with just two units. We've got a veteran brigade. Uh, well, that's mixed because the skirmishers are the regular. Uh, commander. And over there we have some French cannon. The British are a little bit outnumbered because I didn't get everything painted. So they've got a unit of Scots Grave and two units of inex uh, two units of regulars. Uh, the Scots Grave veterans. Uh, so this is an inexperienced brigade, just two units, just over there. I know we're, we're, uh, we're going a bit mad with the veterans, but I just want to test some stuff out tonight. Uh, and then they've got a battery gun as well, so I'll come back to you after deployment. Hello, so the French are deployed. Put both cavalry units on this flank. They've got a uh, regular brigade there. The inexperienced brigade there. They're all deployed in attack column. The veterans are all far in there. You'll have to excuse me. That's a lot of veteran commanders. So I want to use the unit of as a command for that. Please forgive me. Uh, the British put the guns here. I've got two brigades here next to each other. The regular brigades deployed across here. I don't exactly the unit command, so you'll have to forgive me again. Uh, and so we will come back after some movement. So there's got a bit of movement. Uh, this British veteran brigade are just going to open fire, so I'm just going to explain how that works. So they're at long range, they're going to be hitting on sixes. Uh, it's their opening volley, so it's going to be fives. And they've took aim. And they're going to be trying to pepper this cavalry. So if you want to roll your dice, guys. Uh, so they're hitting on fours. That squad first. So do you want to do your save to your cavalry? Now, your white seven. cavalry as a save of four plus. Yeah. So, so, seven so saves of four. Helps you being done. Oh, oh, nice. Two. Just two. Well, that's enough to kill. So, one guy, one guy. Wasn't one of them. One of them was a Oh, yes. So, take one guy off. Yes. He did. And. He did. Oh, the next one. Uh, was there any threes there? Um, yeah, no idea. Yeah. Right, so, but he does take another two for team. Excellent. That's your money. So, so, three shots for each base and one extra extra bridge. Can't find the eight. It's all so, this unit So, yeah, uh, still at long range. So, it's four still. I have a range of five. So five saves of four plus. No, I've got to use the red dice for British. So, one. You can't get Yes. So, another three wounds. There's another guy dead, so that would be. There's two dead. And one on one wound. And they have maxed out the fatigue. So they can do nothing now until they get that fatigue. Done. 
So just quick one there on shooting. I'll come back to you after we finish this. Quick summary. Uh, so this is the end of the first turn. French Cavalier took a battering. Uh, they've maxed out their fatigue, this unit of Lancers. This unit is still relatively okay, only two fatigue. These guys just moved forward, just a few shots, they're okay. They've moved forward. The French elite decided not to bother doing anything. Cannons fired. Whacked into both the, Brit the uh, British veterans, put some damage and fatigue on them. Uh, I'm just going on the line. The rest of the British have been very un British uh, and moved forward rather than standing where they are. The cavalry have come down here already, just in case the French guard decide to start moving. Okay, see you at the end of the second turn. End of turn two, things are heating up. The French cavalry got all the way here to the guns, but they're maxed out with fatigue, so they're stuck there now, so they can get that down. These are still trying to reduce the fatigue from gunfire earlier. They've got it down to five. French columns pressing forward. French columns pressing forward. The veterans need to press forward a little bit. Guns did absolutely nothing. The British guns are unbelievably successful. Uh, they're basically neutered the French cavalry completely, along with these unit of veterans. They took a bit of damage. These green troops took nothing. Uh, that's green troop there. Need to, we forgot to test for them, if you want to do that. And these guys have just swung around a little bit. And then the Scots Greys are just moving up this flank in case the Imperial Guard decide to come down there and try and force them in the square, probably. Uh, and I will come back to you at the end of the next turn. Top of turn three. Uh, the French cavalry have been completely wiped out. These guns have been amazing. The British veterans are just kind of stuck here uh, because I forgot they were allowed to charge and I didn't tell them. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, these guys are just shooting away. French guns are quite happy on the hill. They're starting to do absolutely nothing still. The French guard are moving up and looking very threatening. I think we can see some charges coming up very soon with them. The Scots Greys are there, but... They're not doing a great deal of the minute. They're too far away from the brigade commander, so they're not taking orders too well. Uh, there's a big mass of British infantry there, but I think the guard might sort them out, so this could turn the game. Uh, and then we've got all these guys here in the middle. These guys became uh, regular from being green. And I will see you all at the top of turn four. So we're running out of time, so we're just going to do one last turn after this. This French column has moved all the way down here. It's smashed into this British. Uh, and then for a second combat here, but only managed to draw. Um, the French columns over here failed to charge. I oh, know they charged there, wiped out a unit. Well, they got them running away at least. Uh, but they're in a bit of trouble now because it looks like these Scots Greys, if they can pass an order, they will be charging into uh, the French square there, that right, French column. Uh, French guns have done absolutely nothing all game. Well done to them. Uh, so this flank, it's looking a little bit tenuous, but these guys both max out their fatigue, so they probably aren't going to be doing a great deal anymore. Anyway, one more turn. Quick overview. We'll see you at the end of the next turn. So we're at the end of the game. It, is uh, it was quite a close fought thing in the end. Uh, these French managed to form a rally square and stop the Scots Greys from charging into them. Uh, the British managed to capture one more objective than the French. Uh, so they took it 2-1 in the end. Uh, there's a few things we need to iron out. Um, I'm going to change the way the shooting works very slightly. I'm going to change the saves very slightly. Uh, so anyone that's got to set the rules, uh, I'll probably ping you out an email uh, with, with what I thought from this game. Apart from that, everything seemed to work quite well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, share, like, all that business. Speak to you all soon. Bye for now. Hello. Uh, yeah, so sorry about that. Uh, I should have done a better job, really. I was a bit concerned that the video would end up being too long. Uh, and I spent a lot of time explaining the rules to the guys that helped me out. Um, I mean, they all, they all said they enjoyed it, so that's a good thing. Uh, and they're all, they were, after the game, was saying, oh, you could change this and do this, and we could have ancient battles with it. And I, I've got an army of Greeks, and... So it's quite positive, and uh, as I've said from the beginning with these rules, they are, the general idea of them is so that you can use them for multiple periods of times in history. You've just got to change the rules for each unit and the way certain little things work. 
but as an overall set of rules, you can use them for anything, uh, which is the general idea. Uh, but anyway, what I found didn't quite work was the wounding from shooting. So uh, I'm not gonna explain how it worked before, but I'll just say how it's gonna change now, which is if you fail a save, you take a wound and a fatigue, regardless of how much you fail it by or whatever. Fail a save, wound and fatigue, simple. Um, the next thing is the heavy cavalry, three up save is too good. Uh, so we're dropping that down to a four up. Um, the French columns, so when a, a, a or, or any army, uh, when they're going to attack column, uh, we're going to say that they can sacrifice their shooting ability for that turn uh, and they can get an extra move. They could do one extra move instead of doing any shooting. Uh, so it would just help them get across the table a bit quicker. Uh, and there was one other thing. Um, oh yeah, heavy cavalry. So um, in the rules it says you can't charge... If you're infantry, you cannot charge cavalry unless it's in the rear. Uh, so we're going to keep that as that is, but we're going to change it so that if the cavalry that you're charging is fatigued, uh, then you're free to charge it uh, and all the cavalry can do. They don't stand and fight, they just evade, they just run away uh, because they're too tired to fight. So then they have to regroup and then come back. Uh, the reason for this is, is we found during the game that uh, a unit of British Heavy Cavalry sat on an objective <clears throat> uh, and because they couldn't be charged off it, they could just sit there. Or even if they maxed out their fatigue, they could just spend the entire game just sat there. It's like, well, you can't get rid of us, so meh. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, we, they, if they are maxed out fatigue, then the infantry can charge them and they'll just run away and try and get their breath back somewhere else. Because uh, otherwise... It, I could see people twisting the rules there and just taking every cavalry and sitting them on objectives and I win kind of thing. So uh, anyway, that's what uh, came out of the play test so far. Uh, next time I, I do it, I'm gonna just reduce the amount of troops I used. Uh, we're gonna do it on a six by four table. Um, oh, excuse the uniform, I've just finished work. <laughs> we're gonna do it on a six by four table uh, and I'll do, um, I'll be able to do it in a bit more depth. I was a bit worried it was going to run over, so that's why I've tried to keep it short, but I've ended up making it too short. Um, six by four, more more in depth. Uh, and then, as I said before, I will probably do a video of each section of the rules, just explain how they work and how you get them with. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you kind of enjoyed this video. <laughs> I hope the next one's a bit better. I'm watching all your stuff, keep that coming. Uh, and as I say, I don't comment as much as I used to because I watch it on my big TV. Uh, so then I have to go back onto my phone then to comment afterwards. Uh, and I just haven't got the time to do that all the time. So yeah, that's that. Uh, and that's it. So I will catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.